In this video, we're going to troubleshoot a trackpad mouse not working on your Razer Blade laptop, your gaming laptop. If you haven't restarted the laptop yet, go ahead and restart it. Um, that may fix some of your problems if it's like a device uh, a driver issue. Go ahead and restart it. After you tried that, I want you to try uh, function and all the keys, F1 through F12. So what you're going to do is hold down the function key and then try each one, F1, F2, F3, F4, F5. The reason I haven't, I don't know a specific key is just because on Razorblade I haven't found one yet. And it may not even be an option. But go ahead and troubleshoot that and see if you can try doing the function keys. After you tried that, what I want you to do is on some razor blades on the upper left of the trackpad if you just hit it twice on the the mouse the trackpad right here hit it twice that may activate the um, the trackpad mouse to work okay if you haven't tried the, uh, this option yet what I want you to do is tab your way all the way down to where you can search in Windows on the very bottom left to the right of your Microsoft uh, icon and, and type in touchpad now I know that you don't have access to your mouse, but you could sometimes tab, T-A-B, tab your way to over here and type in touchpad, try mouse, and then see if in your windows you're able to um, get your trackpad to work. Just click, uh, uh, right click, not right click, enter on mouse settings, and then see if you're able to get into the settings if it's enabled. Next, what I want you to do is do a run function where you can get into the control panel to do that what you're going to do is hold down the Microsoft key hit R to go to run and then type in control that's going to take you to the control panel right here and I want you to tab or use the arrow key to go down to hardware and sound hit enter and then I want you to enter mouse properties then enter additional mouse options and then from there, I want you to see if the touchpad is enabled. Um, if it isn't, go ahead and enable it and restart your razor blade. After you try that, do another run function. Just hold down the Microsoft key, hit R, and then type in devmgmt.msc. That's for device manager. And then go to your drivers under device manager here. Use the arrow key or the tab key to go all the way down to, ma to mice and then what you want to do is hit enter and it should have an option for trackpad or pointing device and then right click it by holding down the shift key and then the F10 key that's basically right click and then what you want to do is update the driver um, to do that make sure you're connected to the internet and it may take about 10 minutes restart if for whatever reason you see like a little yellow icon on there near the driver go ahead and enter and enable the driver Okay, after you tried that, what you're going to do is go into BIOS, and I believe on BIOS it's F2 for, for the razor blade. Let me see, razor blade. Yeah, I believe it's F2 for BIOS. So you, what you want to do is you want to restart you want to restart the razor blade, and as soon as you see the logo, you want to tap F2 like crazy. That's going to take you into BIOS where it's like a black and blue screen. And what I want you to do is see if your trackpad works in BIOS. If it does, then you know it's not a hardware issue. It's a, something with Windows, which is a good thing. And then what I want you to do is in BIOS, I want you to look for where you can change the trackpad settings. It may be under advanced. It may be under internal pointing device, touchpad, or trackpad. And then enable it. And I believe in Razorblade you hit F2 to save your changes and then restart it and see if it'll work. Now, if you tried all that, if that doesn't work, what I want you to do is locate uh, an optical drive like this, a, a mouse. You may have one in a drawer, in a closet. You may have an old desktop that, with a USB, and then plug the mouse into your USB, into your razor blade. It, it could be wireless, or it could have a cord to it, and it should automatically know the driver and start being able to work immediately. That's good news. And some people, especially gamers, would prefer to have an a optical mouse as opposed to a trackpad anyway. And then that solves your problem. If for whatever reason, uh, that does, if you don't have one, you can go to Amazon or go to Walmart and you can find one locally. Very, very, very easy. Um, 
And so I hope I help you solve the problem. The only other option is to install uh, the, a new hardware onto the trackpad, which of course looks like this. You have to basically uninstall the um, the touchpad or the um, the palm rest, and then put a new one underneath the palm rest, and, and then screw it back on. There may be some tutorials on YouTube where you can learn how to do that, and it shouldn't be too much to buy it on eBay. All right, thanks for watching, and make sure you subscribe.